What's up, YouTube? It's Kenny again. Well, I got some bad news and I got some good news, all right? So, uh, first of all, if you're just finding this video, please hit that subscribe button if you're finding the channel. Hit the like button on the video to help push it out to more people, all right? So, sitting here in Wisconsin, waiting to get loaded, I'm finally back in my truck. I spent the whole day like swapping everything back over and you know there was some mishaps last night leading up to uh me picking it up and making it back over there and all that that's neither here nor there but i'm back in my truck all right so no more rattling and bouncing ass camera while i'm going down the road so i'm super happy about that all right that's i mean that's some good news right yeah so uh look guys this is the deal all right so I know I've been going on and on and on about buying a van, right? And you might have heard in my last video that I've been doing some more research again about car, cargo trailers. And I had that all planned out and that's what I had planned first. And I talked to a couple friends of mine, you know, at length about me kind of going back and forth thinking whether I should do a van or a cargo trailer. And guys, I'm pretty sure that instead of buying a van, I'm going to build out a cargo trailer. Now, some of you might not be familiar with that. And what it basically is, is you buy a cargo trailer and build it out like an RV on the inside. And there are some real serious advantages to doing that uh, rather than doing a van. All right. And I'm going to run them down. OK, the one disadvantage, the one main disadvantage is that you can't just park it anywhere you want you know what i mean you can't just pull up on the side of a road i mean i guess you kind of can but uh just you're you're more limited in where you can park for the night when you're just out on the road traveling you know it's more like having a pull behind rv trailer where you kind of have to do a little more planning to be able to park somewhere all right so that's the main disadvantage but guys the advantages are there are just so many advantages to doing it in a cargo trailer instead of a van that you know i kind of can't help but uh play with the idea and now kind of i'm really leaning that direction and so let's talk about all these advantages okay number one first and foremost it's going to be cheaper i mean i'm you know talking about not only uh spending 15 to 17,000 to buy a van and get it all fixed up uh but there's a lot of extra work involved in for somebody like me on the road who's not there to do the legwork there's a lot of extra legwork involved in buying a van taking it to a shop to have an engine in it potentially taking it to another shop to have a transmission put in it and you know trying to talk somebody into doing the extra stuff while they're in there and you know there's just a lot of legwork involved in doing that van okay and and just say we get it done for fifteen thousand then you still got to spend the five or six grand on the solar and the roof racks and the you know and then the build out beyond that guys for fifteen thousand okay i can go buy a brand spanking new cargo trailer and do the solar so in other words for what's going to cost me twenty 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 two thousand i can do for fifteen and so it's saving a lot of money okay and it also will get me to the goal faster because it's saving a lot of money so another big advantage okay and is guys i got a bad knee and a bad hip and a bad back i got issues and i want to be able to stand up I, in a van you're just going to be trying to pee in a bottle or something and you're hunched over and you can't stand up and just always bumping your head and having to be on your knees to do stuff because it's not tall in there you know and if I could have gotten some kind of a pro master or something, then that would have been a lot better. But that's gonna then you're talking thirty thousand instead of twenty something, you know. 
so uh, those are the two main advantages all right but there's also a lot of other advantages I mean you you're gonna have more room I'm gonna buy a 7 by 14 trailer which means I won't have any problem putting the bed side to side and I'll have 14 feet of length to work with not including the V nose in the front so you have a lot more room to work with you can do a lot more with it okay another big advantage okay even though I was planning on like having a bunch of stuff rebuilt on the van and everything uh, that car those cargo trailers last forever and if you ever have to like replace an axle or something like that they're not very expensive there's nothing that can go wrong with it in a mechanical sense if you have problems with the vehicle you're towing it with you can just buy another vehicle to tow it with and you're still intact if something happens to that van somebody runs into it it has some kind of a major breakdown a frame issue or something that's you know makes it just totally not worth fixing you got to do everything over again like you got to build out the inside again you got to redo all the solar you're you're pigeonholed into that vehicle and another thing is guys i i haven't it's an old truck that i drive okay it's a 1995 uh gmc yukon which is basically a chevy tahoe okay but everything I was talking about having done to that van has already been done to my truck. My engine and transmission, my truck's got 270,000 miles on it. But the engine and transmission probably have 50 or 60,000. And the, uh, everything has been gone through and replaced. I mean, it's, it's you know, new alternator, starter, radiator, uh, just about in, it's shocks, brakes and rotors the differential has been gone through the four-wheel drive has been gone through it's four-wheel drive you know and and so like there are a few things the ac compressor ran out need to replace that and, and the front end has not been rebuilt and it needs to be done but basically if i spent two two grand maybe three uh my truck is rock solid and it's you know four-wheel drive so if I go out to the desert or something, I'm not going to have any problems in the sand or anything like that. You know, uh, there's just a lot of advantages. And one of the things that I didn't really want to do was sell my truck uh, because it's such a great truck. I mean, you know, like it's old, but like I go back to the yard where we all park our vehicles and I see guys in, you know, eight, 10 year old trucks that are, you know, their battery's dead and they're broke down. They got flat tires and everything else. I walk up to my 30 year old truck. I don't even have to sit in the seat. I can just reach through the window, turn the key and it starts right up after sitting two months. You know what I mean? So it's just like, there's too many things pushing me toward doing it this way. And, you know, the, the money is a big deal, too. I mean, you know, there's more factors than the money, but the money is a big deal. Also, like I've been talking, you heard me talking about a house, thinking I was going to have to move to the 330 watt solar panels, which means I wouldn't have enough. I wouldn't have as much electricity, probably would still be able to run an air conditioner. But installing an air conditioner in a van means I got to bust out the back window and do some semi janky stuff in there to get an air conditioner that's going to be sticking out of the back of it uh where with the cargo trailer like i can fit four 455 watt solar panels on the top no problem nothing sticking off anywhere anything like that and i've got a plan for the air conditioning that'll make it to where you can't even see it uh so there's just it's just it's too many things to ignore and although i would like to have the freedom to like go into like just a downtown area and park in the middle of wherever and sleep or whatever i think it's worth the trade-off to have to do a little more research and and kind of plan where i'm going to park and stuff like that i i think it's worth it and you know i've got i can you know, one of the things that was keeping me away from it was that when I come back to work for a year to save or whatever, that I was thinking, well, I probably will have to pay for some place to store it, you know. But I looked into it, and it's not that expensive. And I also, my I can park it at my parents' place. And I actually have some friends that I could probably park it at their place, too. So I don't think that's going to be a huge issue. 
And like I say, I just think this is the best route. I mean, if, if I was to buy something, to buy a used one, I could save even more money. And, uh, yeah, I just really think this is the route to go. So, it's going to be cargo trailer conversion, I think. Cargo life instead of van life. There's a lot of people out there doing it. If you're interested in look, and having a look, you know, type uh, cargo trailer conversion or cargo trailer build into YouTube, and you'll see a lot of people doing it. And they're, you know, uh, the there's it's kind of advantageous because I could buy an RV, like a pull behind RV. Uh, for even cheaper, but there's a lot of disadvantages to that. There's advantages too, but uh, like getting solar on the top of them, they've got air conditioning units and shit sticking off the top of them makes it really difficult. And plus, the the fact of the matter is that if I do it in a cargo trailer and I build it, then I know where everything is and if something goes wrong i don't have to go busting walls open to find wires or plumbing or any of that kind of stuff and and frankly to be honest with you i don't want to deal with all that black tank and you know using a toilet that stores it and then you got it i don't want to deal with all that and uh and you have to do that in an, i guess you know you just could just not use it but you know it and and do it the way i'm going to do it anyway but you know i mean then you're wasting space and everything so i think this is the way to go leave me a comment below and tell me what you think i know most of the people here uh although there are a few here who probably found the channel organically searching van life content uh i think that most of you here are just following just follow me and uh, uh I mean, obviously, a bunch of people here are here for stock market stuff. But, uh, yeah, so that that's the route I think I'm going. Uh, it was hard to, to make the decision. You know, I talked to a buddy, and I was like, well, I've been saying and saying and saying van life, van life, van life. And part of me feels bad for, like, changing my mind and whatever. But then at the same time, I got to do what's going to be the best, most, most efficient way to do it. And I, and I really think this is it. So, and in the future, if I do decide to do a van later on, I'll have all the solar and everything, you know, I'll have everything to do it with. So, uh, another thing is the resale value. Like, the resale value on those trailers is phenomenal. Like, you can you have a 10-year-old one and still sell it for almost what you paid for it. So, uh, there's just a lot of advantages to it, and I think it's the best way to go. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, like the video, and I'll see you on the next one.